What's up guys, OBF back here, back again with another Vans review. And today I have the classic slip-on suede Sherpa grape leaf colorway. These are size 13. Retail on these was 65. Probably the hottest shoe of the holiday season here, at least the hottest slip-on. These guys have been selling out everywhere. It's not often that you see a pair of shoes sell out on the Vans website with the exceptions of some collaborations like the NASA. We just finally started to see the Mickey uh, anniversary stuff sell out so this one selling out was a, a little bit of a surprise but it seems like everybody uh, has been after the shoe and I'm not really sh too sure why considering Vans has done this Sherpa slip-on concept several times before definitely not the first but uh, overall it's definitely a solid shoe I'm not knocking the shoe in any way just kind of confused on where the hype came from but nonetheless let's get into the details of this shoe the entire upper is featured in a suede, which is actually scotch guarded or features some type of water repellent uh, coating over it. And it's weird because they don't really advertise it. The only place I saw advertise it was on the website. Typically you would see something on the shoe, like a little hang tag or something that would let you know it's water resistant uh, or even like a scotch guard tag under the tongue, but there's not really anything. So. Just a good piece of information to know uh, before buying these. They are water resistant. I have already tested these out. The grape leaf colorway makes an appearance here on the toe box or the vamp, as well as on this heel counter. You will also see a slightly different green shade on the quarter panels here, which is more of like a muted color. So it kind of has like a grayish uh, olive blend to it. A very nice touch though. I'm not sure if I already mentioned it, but the suede quality is definitely on point for these. As far as the GR goes, this is some pretty good suede. I'm not gonna lie. Very happy with how these came out. Sits on top of a solid white midsole here with the white foxing stripe. You got your black off the wall skateboard on the heel. Slightly darker gum waffle outsole. Vans flag on the side is a white flag with the black logo of course we have the white elastic gore to match and then the star of the show the sherpa lining so the sherpa lining will be pretty much the entire interior of the shoe underneath the vamp all the way down on the insole just totally lined with the sherpa um from my experience of briefly wearing these i didn't really seem it didn't really seem like it would make my feet sweat in any way or be too warm uh, it's just kind of perfect, if you ask me. It's, it's a little thin, but uh, definitely a nice touch for these colder winter days. I know in California, it's been getting a lot colder than it usually does around this time of year. So uh, this is kind of like the perfect shoe to have right now. But the Sherpa lining is pretty much just your standard Sherpa. It is faux fur. It is not like the North Face uh, Chuckas that had the real sheep fur in it. So uh, those of you who are wondering about that, and these do fit true to size. Not really too much else to say about these. I mean, pretty simple suede slip on with the Sherpa lining. That is, like I said, water resistant. These are gonna be harder to find. Like I said, they sold out on the Vans website and they've been selling out at other stores that carry Vans as well. I was trying to find these online and it seemed like only a couple of retailers overseas still had a good size run. So if you guys are interested in these, hopefully you can find them for retail. I would not suggest paying anything more than the 65 retail on these. Uh, it's not really worth it, at least to me. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy the review and be sure to stay tuned for the on feet.